Hi, and welcome to our What Sold video for March 17th through 23rd. Before we get started, let me show you our quick disclosures on the screen. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's dive in to What Sold. <laughs> The first thing that sold was a you two- You introduce us. Yeah, it'll say it on the screen. Oh. Yeah, you can do it though. I'm Wendy. She's Kevin. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. The first thing that sold was a two pack of Star Wars Mandalorian kid size bandanas. Kevin got a bunch of these at a garage sale. He paid 25 cents for each of them. And this one sold for $9.44. Next up was the second of the Ryoku Girls Black and White Polka Dot Bikini Bathing Suit. It was new with tags. That came out of the Via Trading box and it sold for $12.99. Next up was a really good sale. This was a Roma brand Italian pasta bowl. It was a very large 13 inch blue and white ceramic pasta bowl made in Italy. And that was actually mine. It was gifted to me a very long time ago. And I'm not sure, I, I literally don't think I ever used it. It was a really nice bowl. It was just an odd size and I never found myself remembering that I had it. So I ultimately decided to sell that and it sold for $65. So that was That's a pretty, pretty good, good sale. Hard to pack though. Yeah, it actually wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Next up was a, something that was gifted to us to sell from a family member. This was a chicken collection cookbook from Food and Wine, a hardcover book from 1997. We had no cost on that and it sold for $8.18. Probably should have lauded that with something else, but yeah. I don't think like most of our other cookbooks were baking. They didn't really have the right. It just didn't fit in with yeah, anything else. Yeah, it didn't fit else. in with it's anything. It's just an outlier. So we listed so we it and it sold, sold to somebody like nearby and we didn't have huge shipping costs. So. Well, it was media mail. It was a cookbook. And it was media mail. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't matter. It didn't you, matter. It can go to Alaska or it can go five miles away. It's the same price if it's media mail. It's Still. Definitely. It went to somebody close to us who liked chicken. Who liked chicken. Well, I hope they like chicken because they have a whole cookbook about it. They do. All right. Next up was a polo by Ralph Lauren men's beige full zip jacket. We got this at a garage sale for $5 and it sold for $35 on Poshmark. Our only non-eBay sale of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Poshmark sales have been decent for us lately because we usually don't have tons of Poshmark sales, but... They've been picking up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they've been getting better, but this week just won. All right, next up was a Barbie size white satin and lace apron. I think it was actually Mattel branded, but I could not find one exactly like it. I found one that was blue that looked exactly like it that said it was from the Barbie Dream Kitchen. Couldn't find this white one anywhere, so I didn't want to say that it was Mattel, so I put Barbie and clone. And I put French maid on there because, you know, it looked like a French maid outfit. <laughs> that did make it sell really fast. I don't know if it was the French maid keyword or what, but, you know, I'm taking credit for it. So that was also gifted to us from a family member. We had no cost and it sold very fast for $11.68. Next up was more Barbie stuff. This was a 1960s lot of three miniature Barbie or clone doll. I don't know if they were Mattel branded, but they were really cute, tiny little miniature records. And they were of Pat Boone songs. Do you remember what the, what the songs were? They were all Pat Boone? Two of them were, the orange ones were. Oh, I didn't actually read the. Yeah, I, I like actually had Pat Boone it. on there and the name of they're, the song. They're, they're like the size of a penny. They, yeah, and then one small. of them was an MGM record. And so we had the, they bought that. They bought some yellow shoes from mm. us and those yellow shoes dropped the shipping on us. Another thing that dropped the shipping. Which ended up not mattering because they ordered other things, yeah. which worked out for us, but yeah. But yeah, frustrating. So that was some lost profit on that. And then there were also some cl Barbie clone doll, red and white chunky pilgrim style heels. All of those items combined, we paid for the yellow shoes. The rest of them were gifted to us by a family member. We were all in on that cost of goods for 61 cents. And those sold for a total of $27.64. 
Next up was one of Kevin's trading cards. This was a 94, 1994 comic images, the Brothers Hildebrandt, your turn. Urshirak? Card, collector promo card. <laughs> and that sold for $2.39. Those came, uh, I remember, we've sold a lot of those promo cards. They all came from, I bought a comic book, like, price guide in 1994, and it was bagged. And inside the bag were several promo cards with it, and that was one of them. So they, they sell every once in a while. Nice. Next up was one of the Tannerite stickers. We got a big bulk purchase of these, like probably a hundred and something of them. I at think it was the Goodwill bins, yeah. and we sell them every once in a while. Not a fantastic pickup, but not a bad one either. No, they're good. They'll go eBay standard, and yeah, you know, we made four sixty. Well, they on didn't that used to go have... eBay standard. They didn't used to. Yeah. And we'd only make like offer a, that option. We'd only make like a dollar fifty or two dollars yeah. on them. But now that we can do it this way, we can make more and you know, we have almost a hundred of them. So yeah. as they go. So we got those out of the bins for sixty seven cents a piece. I mean probably less, but you know, spreadsheet. It was definitely mat. less, but spreadsheet mat. Yeah. yeah. And um that sold for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, next up was a 2022 Sonic Wacky Pack <clears throat> He-Man Masters of the Univor Universe Universe Skeletor Staff of Havoc Spoon. Oh yes, the Staff of Havoc Spoon. <laughs> it's a weapon that Skeletor's every famous action weapon. figure desires. He scoops out. Evil? He man. No, he is evil. So he oh. scoops up. Well, no, he's goodness. he is. He scoops up evil and then he uses it he against. He scoops up evil. And... <laughs> All right, that came out of one of our own personal wacky packs. Yeah. And we had no cost. As other we've said than the before, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic toys. Toys always sell. They do. They just always sell. That sold for eleven dollars even. Next up was a Bright Starts Jingle and Shake Green Frog Pal. O ball baby toy rattle. This came out of a thrift store toy bag for 22 cents and it sold for $12.99. Next up was a Texas Instruments TI GraphLink USB graphing calculator cord or cable. This came from the garage sale where everything was free. So we had no cost, which is good because it sold for $15, but the buyer who we were a little questionable about to begin with did reach out to us and said that the item did not work, which maybe it did, maybe it didn't. We'll find out when it comes back, but they said that it did not work and that they wanted to return it. So a return request is currently open on this, which is so weird because we have always joked and i know other people have joked about this that return requests always come in threes and we just this was our third yeah. return request we had the chi the chi flat iron which got returned and y'all it worked perfectly there was it no was, was, red goo was stuck in there perfect. it was absolutely perfect they, those people were they were they were just lying, lying. i would i would yeah. say they were mistaken but no they were just yeah. straight up lying. and then the second thing that was returned really frustrating was the one of those pairs of the kids saltwater shoes which were we had all the photos of them of what they were so like six photos of the silver sandals the title said silver, silver saltwater sandals, sandals. In the, in the listing, it said. item details, it said color, silver. And then they told me that I misrepresented the item and that they looked white and that I ought to be ashamed of myself because I misrepresented the item. And I'm like, seven photos in the title they're, they're or six photos in the title and in the item details. That's eight times that you have the opportunity teacher. to see that they're silver. Their reading teacher should be ashamed of themselves. Honestly. So... Those got returned, and I was not ashamed of that at all. I just relisted them. And then this one got opened. The guy says that it doesn't work. So we're going to really be carefully inspecting that to yeah. see that we get the right one back, that it was actually the one that we sent. I don't know. I mean, maybe it didn't yeah. work. Because he asked before he bought it Yeah, it that's worked. why we were a little bit like, that's, eh. that's always, if you ever get somebody asking questions like that, Ahead of time, that's always a red flag. A lot of times, I just don't allow people like that to 
buy. People yeah. like that. Sounds rude. <laughs> a lot of times I don't question allow. Question askers. I don't. It's not question askers. I mean, it really is. It's isn't. the way they ask it's the, the question. It's the way they ask the question. And I don't even know if I can put my finger on it exactly. It's, but it's just a feeling yeah, you I, get. Like I told her when it happened. Yeah. I'm like, He's gonna and he send was this right. Back. And I knew he was right. Back. And I knew I should have just blocked yeah. that buyer and moved on. But I wanted to sell that item, but it wasn't worth it. You it was the way he asked the question, and I just we we sh we knew. We you got to use your eBay gut sometimes. So we had our eBay our eBay radar up on that one, and we were right about it. Mm -hmm. So it's coming back. I don't know. We may or may not get the same one back, and yeah, we're gonna check very. We'll closely. see what happens. But that's three returns, and I swear the other thing that always happens when we get returns is our sales plummet yeah which doesn't make any sense to me from an ebay point of view like why would they make your sales go down if you're getting returns you're they want you to offer returns they want you to provide a good buying experience to ebay buyers but we always have the experience that when we have open returns or open cases or you know anything like that going on ebay doesn't promote us as often or we notice that we are not selling as many things so I What's don't know up with what that? In the algorithm, what in the algorithm does that? Like maybe they think that you're doing some sort of scam or something, but I would think that if you rejected returns, it would shut your store down, but not giving yeah. free returns. I, yeah. I don't understand. Well, our, our return rate is less than 2%. So it's very, I mean, it's, it's, it's very low. And that's the thing. The free returns, people freak out. Sellers freak out about that sometimes, but yeah, it's very low. Oh, it's, it's definitely not very, any higher than it was low. when we, had, when, when it happens, we're like, Oh, yeah. we're shocked we're, because it hardly ever happened. And it doesn't happen any more offering free returns than it did when no. we didn't offer free returns. Same percentage. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And if somebody's going to, if somebody wants a return and you don't offer free returns, they're going to figure out a way to yeah, get a return. Yeah, they'll return it anyway. So, well, and they're they're going to open an INAD on you yeah. or yeah. it'll be worse. It'll be worse. Yeah. It'll be worse. The we've same just outcome found, but worse. We've just found that we have happier buyers and happier situations yeah. this way. But anyway, three returns. Works for us. Sales have been down, so we're super frustrated about that, but and it's been bad for 2 weeks too. So, we're ready to yeah. come out of this. We're ready for this guy to send us back this graphing calculator cord, whether it's the cord we sent him or another cord, and we're ready to just be done with it and get our sales back up. Yes. Okay, moving on. Double Next rope. up was a vintage cowboy double rope training noseband horse bridle tack western equine reed. <laughs> That's what my title said. It was a vintage horse bridle that was gifted to us by a family member we had no cost and it sold for $47.99. And I think it would have sold for maybe a little bit or maybe quite a bit more, but the leather on it was pretty cracked and old. It was old. pretty old looking. Yeah. It was, it was brittle. Yeah. It needed almost. some, it some was, love. Yeah. It was easy to ship though. I just threw it in a, uh, I wrapped some padding around and threw it in a cardboard mailer. All right, next up was a 1995 Score Platinum Complete Team Set of the Cincinnati Reds. This was Kevin's, and that sold for $10.38. I had so many of those. I still have like five left sets of those cards. I know. So many. Okay, next up was a Talbot Women's Petite Red, White, and Blue Striped Tweed Jacket, and it was new with tags. We got this at a thrift store. We paid... He thinks that we sold it no, once. No, I, I know for a fact. He thinks that we sold it once before and it got returned. I think we paid $10.78 we, we didn't at the thrift store. Because I'm the person who ships things and I've, <laughs> I remember shipping it and I know we didn't pay $10.78 for so it. So I think I think we paid about $5.78 for it or $5 and then we ate the 5 bucks or so coming back. So apparently it's been sold before and got returned. I think so. Yeah. I didn't remember it that way, but he does. It was a long time ago. It was, we've had this thing forever. It was like two years ago. It was forever. So we sold it this time for $26.38, and that brought our profit down significantly on this item. We would have uh, made a lot more had we not. We got good feedback on it, though, so it's we gone did. for good now. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next up was a pair of Lane Bryant women's dark wash blue denim skinny jeans. We got these at a garage sale for $2, and they sold for $18.38. Next up was a Microsoft Bluetooth four-way touch scrolling wedge touch mouse. 
This we got at a garage sale for $8. I did comp it at the garage sale to make sure it was worth it, and it was. It sold for $35 even. And we got pretty glowing feedback from we that did. guy too. And we got a question from this buyer, but the way this buyer asked the yes. question was very nice and more like I've had an issue with another one in the past, so I just want to make sure that yeah. I'm not going to have the same issue again. But you could tell the difference. I didn't yeah. think this one was coming back. Yeah. It was just the way they yeah. asked the question. I don't, and I don't know that we can exactly... There, there's no way there's for no us way. to but it, But sometimes, you know, you, it's just you. your intuition. So if, yeah. you're, if you feel that, like, sense of, like, <clears throat> that doesn't feel good, I don't have any qualms about blocking a buyer yeah. on eBay. I'll just do it because my feedback is too important to me. I've worked too hard to have 100% feedback, and I want to keep it that way. Those of you who sold for a while know what we're talking about. You yeah. just get a feeling. Yeah. You know they're going to be trouble. Yeah. Yeah. And I have no guilt over blocking a buyer. That's why that option is there for us. That's why we have that privilege to do that on any of the selling yeah. platforms. You can block a buyer on any of the selling platforms. If she platforms. gets any queasiness about a buyer, she's like, mm, hmm. block. I will. She I will. will. Yeah. She'll pull that block trigger quick. Yeah. I'd rather protect my feedback, honestly, yeah. than get the sale in almost any circumstance. Yeah. All right. Next up was a DreamWorks Spirit Untamed 8-inch Articulated Doll. She was wearing the wrong shirt. You'll see I included that right in the title. We got this out of a thrift store toy bag. It might have been out of a doll bag. I'm not sure which. But we only paid 26 cents for it, and it sold for $7.73. And we got really good feedback on that one, too. We did. Okay, next up was a pair of Women's American Eagle Distressed Jeggings. These were gifted to us to sell by a family member. We had no cost. They sold for $22.99. Speaking of American Eagle jeans, he was at the thrift store the other day, and American Eagle jeans sell great for us. So we do pick them up when we see them. They sell... When you see them cheap. Right, when we see them cheap. For, they, they sell in men's and they sell in women's. They're just popular. So if we can get them for the right price, we will pick them up. But he was looking at jeans at the thrift store the other day, and how much were they priced? 17 something. It was or crazy. Something. Like, that's the price they sell for what? on eBay. $17. I, that, the thrift store has lost their mind on stuff. I on, don't know. On jeans, especially, they yeah, have lost their they mind. They have lost their mind. I just avoid jeans altogether. I don't even look anymore at the thrift store. Yeah, it's, crazy. it's just not even worth my time. No, not at all. So, thrift stores, if you're paying attention, $17 for a pair of American Eagle jeans. Like, it's too high. Not, not feasible. Okay, next up was a 11-piece lot of 1994 Mattel Barbie Nutcracker Kelly doll with Mattel and clone clothing. This is the little baby sister, Barbie baby sister doll. And if you mm -hmm. can find those dolls, they do sell well That based on what I've seen and the clothes as well. Okay, so this was gifted to us to sell by a family member, although the doll I had actually gotten out of a thrift store toy bag a long time ago. But all the clothing uh, was gifted to us to sell, so I had no cost on our spreadsheet because I had pulled that dog out of that dog. I had pulled that doll out of a thrift store toy bag a long time ago, and I, I had just rolled the cost into other stuff. And it sold for $19.99. Okay, next up was a vintage 1980s. The brand was A.B. Lambden, and it was a women's one-size tropical t-shirt with puff paint all over it and shoulder pads. Yes, the yeah. shoulder pads were the giveaway. Yeah, really cool. Definitely 80s. Totally 80s. That we got at the Goodwill Bins for $1.18, and it sold for $14.38. All right, next up was a vintage 1991 Lego Duplo Little Skipper set. It had a boat and all the other parts and pieces that went with it. It was complete, and that was also gifted to us to sell by a family member. We had no cost, and it sold for $13 even. Next up was a 36 Jumbo Pack deck of Old Maid card game and it was by the brand University Games. We got that from a Nextdoor ad that, where they were just giving away a bunch of um, kid stuff, like mostly crafting type items for free. It was just a big bag of kid stuff. And they said, first person to come pick it up gets it for free, and that was us. 
And it was not like super high quality stuff, but yeah. it was free. <laughs> and we and made we money on it. We didn't rush over there, so obviously nobody else wanted it. Yeah. It took we took our time. Yeah. <laughs> so But it was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah. So this one sold for ten dollars and ninety-four cents. All right, at this time, I want to pause for a moment and invite you to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed already. If you've made it this far, chances are you are enjoying it. So we would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on so you can be kept informed of all of our future content. All right, next up was a seven and three quarter inch rubbed bronze tone Hollywood Regency pillar candle holder with crystal beads. Super fancy. It was super fancy. Hollywood Regency is a great keyword for this style of home decor mm. items and it will definitely help your item sell if it has like those crystal beads on it or if it is the kind of the uh, the gold filigree kind of look of something I don't know even how to describe it. If I can find a picture of a Hollywood Regency style decorated room, I'll include it on the screen here. But anything that has that look to it, if you can include that keyword in your title, that will really help it to sell because it's really popular right now. It was very noisy when I packed it. That's the thing I didn't like about it. The beads would just bang, oh, and bang yeah. against the thing. It sounded like glass was breaking every time you moved the box. <laughs> it was very stressful. Well, we got this out of a storage unit. Yeah. And we had paid just 28 cents for it and it sold for $19.98. This was one of those things I was like, I don't know if this is ever going to sell, but I'm going to list it anyway. Boy, our cost of goods this week is really low. It is really low. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of zeros and $1. And I know. 50 cents. Yeah. I know. But also we didn't have like huge profit this week either. We didn't, but yeah. when the cost of goods are low. That's true. That's true. We make more money. Yeah. All right, next up was another Mary Kay item. This was an unfilled magnetic compact mini with mirror. It was a discontinued item, new in box. And this was gifted to us to sell by a family member. We had no cost and it sold for $9. Next up was our best sale of the week, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, this was, and this was made it worth my time to really go through that a uh, big bag of Barbie clothes with a fine tooth comb instead of just, you know, like listing, listing it as a big, it lot, as a big lot. Although, you know, who knows how much we would have gotten for it as a big lot, but, you know, maybe only this much. So this was a vintage 1979 Mattel Barbie Superstar Fashion Collectibles Geometric Dress number 1424. I figured out exactly what it was by using Google Lens. It was really easy to figure out. And the one that we had was in really good condition. It was super disco, I mean, man. And it was from 1979 Very and it looked disco. brand new. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, it looked like a Diane Von Furstenberg. When I first looked at it and pulled it out of the bag, I was like, wow, this really looks like Diane Von Furstenberg. And I was right because that it was 1979 and that's when she was like really big. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. So this was gifted to us to sell by a family member. We had no cost and it sold for $84.98 nice. very quickly. We had a lot of watchers on that. So some vintage Barbie stuff can go for a lot. Next up was another Barbie item. This was a Mattel Barbie Generation Girl Lara doll replacement artist sweater. And that was gifted to us to sell, and it sold for $10.98. Yeah, all of these Barbie things came from the same bag yeah. of things that were given to Most us. Most of them, yeah. There were so many items in that bag. It was so many. So many. So many. I learned a lot going through that. It took a long time. Next up was a four-piece lot of Disney Frozen 11-inch doll Elsa and Anna clothes. These were also gifted to us to sell, and they sold for $16.99. Same bag. Yep. Next up was a pair of Puma Toddler Girls white and hot pink sneaker athletic shoes. We got these at a garage sale a very long time ago for a that dollar. A long time like ago. three years ago, maybe. Yeah. I don't know why they wouldn't sell. They were know. cute. And they sold for $11.74. Next up was another item we've had for a super long time. Oh, this was a pair so of Athleta Women's Small be free two in one gray and black cropped leggings with a with an attached skirt. I got this off of a Facebook group that I used to be a member of, and occasion and people would like post stuff for sale. It was like a buy sell trade kind of group, and 
I used to get stuff off of there all the time and then I think it became more of a reseller group and prices got too high so I left it. Anyway, I had paid $3 for those and they sold for $23.98. Okay, next up was an Ann Taylor women's medium gray open knit crochet v-neck sweater. We got this at a thrift store for $1.89. Also a very long time. Very long time ago. And it sold for $16.99. This um, this week we sold a lot of really old stuff. We but did. also a, a lot of new stuff. Yeah, we're clearing yeah, out some. It is nice to clear out, out some, some old stuff. stuff. Making some space. Mm -hmm. Next up was a lot of two women's size small sleeveless button-up sheer blouses. They were different brands, but they looked very, very similar to one another, so I lotted them together. These came out of a storage unit for $0.28, cents, and they sold for $15.18. Next up was a Pokemon VHS of the... the it, was, uh, it was three Pokemon VHS. Oh, it was three Pokemon VHS called Psychic Surprise Fashion Victim, Victims and Totally Togepi. Mm. <laughs> we got those primarily at a garage sale. I think some of them came from the thrift store. Some of them came from the thrift store. We paid $2.51 for those and they sold for $18.99. Next up was a Forever 21 women's gray cropped ribbed knit long sleeve sweater. That was gifted to us to sell by a family member and it sold for $11.98. Next up was a 69 piece 1940s and 50s lot of doll clothes. They were mostly Nancy and storybook dolls, but it was different, a bunch of different types of dolls from that time period. And most of the clothes needed TLC, but it looked like we had a lot of complete outfits. And we just did not want to figure out what all they, what all of them were and what all the dolls they went. It's harder than the Barbie. It was much harder than the Barbies. We did not want to figure out what each of the outfits, which dolls each of the outfits went to. So I just lotted them all together, did them as an auction, and they sold for $44.60. But it came out of that big Barbie bag. Out of the same Barbie lot, yeah. yeah. Did have a lot of interest. Okay, next up was a 1995 Fleer Ultra Spider-Man Mary Jane card. This was Kevin's. It sold for $2.29. Next up was a vintage 1997 Texas Instruments Math Explorer Solar Calculator. We got that out of the Goodwill bins for $0.67, cents and it sold for $12.99. Next up was a pair of Pepe jeans. Of Great Britain? Yes. Pepe jeans? Pepe of Great Britain. And those got, we got uh, from a garage sale for $2 and they sold so for $18.68. <laughs> I'm glad to get rid of them. We are, but we did have a, a good short on that we one. Did. That was a popular short. All right, next up was a two piece lot of infant toddler girls clothing. It included a pair of shorts and a pair of jeans from Carter's and the Children's Place. This, these came out of a storage unit for 24 cents and they sold for $9.13. That's a really old storage unit and we still, just every week or so, we'll sell something else from that storage unit. Mm -hmm. It just keeps just ticking on a couple more bucks, a couple yeah. more bucks, a couple more bucks. There wasn't anything great in no. that storage unit, but it just keeps but it on. it paid off. Keeps rising. Yeah. Next was an 18 piece mixed lot of kids pretend play tools. These we got from various different toy bags <clears throat> at the thrift store. We were all in on this for just 26 cents and they sold for $14.38. Good feedback on that. Too. Yeah, like I just collected these over time and then when I got enough, we just made a lot and listed it. Next up was a Harley Davidson men's ivory and black mechanic style shirt. This came from a church rummage sale. We paid $3.25 for it, and it sold for $39.99. That was a good one. That was a good one. Next up was a 2004 Mattel Barbie Fashion Fever Teresa doll replacement velvet coat and jeans. This came out of that Barbie bag. We had no cost, and it sold for $19.99. 
Next up was a vintage to modern mixed lot of 12 small six to eight inch baby doll clothes. Some had some flaws. This came out of that Barbie bag also, so we had no cost and it sold for $19.99. A lot of stuff from that Barbie bag this week. Yeah. And last up was eight cards from the 1992 Don Russ baseball bonus set. Yeah. Oh, bonus cards. It was bonus cards. And we had all of these listed in a variation listing and somebody came and bought all of them. And it was weird too because the guy sent me a message first and he said, we had them all listed individually, you know, all priced individually for like $2.29. $2.29. And each. he said, are they $2.29 for all of them or $2.29 each? And I was like, okay, this guy's not going to, like, obviously yeah, they're $2.29 Yeah, see, we got each. a bad vibe about him yeah. from this question. But he came back but a few we minutes wrong. later and bought So I just eight. responded back and I said they're priced individually, but we do have a multi-item uh, buy one get how did I word it? It's a multi-quantity discount. We had a multi-quantity discount and I explained how that worked. And a few minutes later, like our phones went crazy. We're like, ching, 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 ching. We did them we all We sold all eight of them, yeah. And it gave us like eight cha-chings in a row. And we were like, what's happening? And we just got good feedback from him. We so did. He was happy so with we were that. wrong about that yeah. guy. I think it was just so like sorry, maybe guy. he wasn't an experienced eBay buyer. I don't know. But we were happy with that one. So these were Kevin's. And they sold for $16.49 in total. And so, they cost me nothing. All I had to do is lug them around with me from place to place, house to house for 30 years. That's it. Only, oh, that's, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Telling yeah. you. Long game. Business. Business. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that wraps everything up for this week. And let's go over the totals. So our total number of sales was 44. That was a lot less than last week. Last week it was like 60. Yeah. Our average sale price was $20.13, which Way is down. cut in half from last week. Our sales totaled $885.78, which is less than half of last week. Way less than half of last week. And our net profit is $474.12, which is also less than half of last week. Proportionately, it's pretty good with total sales because it's mostly fees out of there because our cost of goods was so low. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah there's but, that. you know, I mean... But yeah, Not, that's, that's a decent week. That for us, $500 week is a good week. Yeah, but I like it to be, to be around $700. And oh, my goal well, would be for I to like be it to be around $10,000 every week. But $500 a week, is that's a, that's a good standard for us. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's $2,000 a month. I don't know. I'll take I it. like it to be around $700. I, I'll take it for part time. I'll take it. Well, I'll take it. I, I'm not going to say no to $500. <laughs> now, could we live off of this? No. No. But as a part time, but I think it was great. greatly affected by those returns. I do too. It always slows things down. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand why there's a why why they would throttle your sales based on right. you having open returns. It just doesn't well, make sense. Well, but we experience that literally every single time. Well, we think we've seen is that anytime anything, yeah, if you get a negative feedback mm -hmm. or if you get a return. Or what are the other scenarios? If you contact eBay. If you talk to them. If you contact yes. them about... Contact... What am I? Canadian? If you contact them about any problems. Yeah. If you if you speak Chat. to someone if you at speak eBay, to a sales rep. it seems like for the next few days, your sales kind of tank. Yeah. I don't know if don't anybody know if else has noticed that. in the that, system, but... if we're imagining things, but I don't think we're imagining yeah, things. It so happens us, every time. Let us know if you've experienced yeah. that. So we, we try to be as self-sufficient as yeah. possible and not reach out, but sometimes you just have to. So, all right, well, that wraps up this video. Let us know if you enjoyed it. Thanks, honey. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side.